hi hello everyone so this is my first video on jira as a tool for scrum teams so this is going to be a series on jira software for agile scrum teams so in today's video i will share uh, how we can create a project in jira and uh, do the starting work like how can how we can set up the backlog uh, initiate our very first sprint move some items into that sprint so we will understand that so let us start so this is kind of a sample jira that i am using so all we have to do is we have to click on the create project and uh, since our team is using agile scrum process so we have to select scrum process next we have to select a template so the scrum process template is already selected now we have to select team managed project and uh, this is our scrum test project so automatically jira has assigned a key to it and so we will simply click on the default options next so now it's creating a project so we have got the message jira project successfully created now what we can do is we can just click on go to project so you guys can see that on the left we have a scrum test this is our software project so it's basically uh, the jira project which is using the scrum process and we have got the initial board which has three default columns to do items in progress and done so these are the lanes or the columns that we have set up and if you see scrm so there is i mean uh, do not get uh, confused like there is a spelling mistake here so this is the key that has been assigned when we created the project so based on the key it is telling like this is our uh, board for the scrum project now if we see the backlog so this is the backlog view so we do not have any issues any user stories epic or features in this uh, project so also we can see that you know there is no sprint setup so let's say uh, we want to create a sprint so what we have to do is uh, this is going to be our sprint one so we can click on add dates okay so this is how we can define our very first sprint kind of like we can schedule so let's uh, let's see i mean what are the different options so we have these are the durations like we can keep our sprint as one week two weeks three weeks and four weeks like because this process is a scrum process so we cannot have uh, the sprint duration more than four weeks or less than a week so we will keep it custom and uh, let's say that the teams wants to start the sp sprint from monday which is 31st of july and uh, the sprint will end on 11th of August so it's a two weeks of a sprint and here in the sprint goal we can specify the sprint goal so sorry first let's say this is kind of like a very high level goal that we want to start on jira in this very first sprint also we want to do the necessary infra setup and work on the initial set of user stories okay so here we can see like this is our sprint which we have defined which will start on 31st it will end on 11th of august kind of a two weeks of a sprint and this is where we can this is what we have written as a sprint goal now uh, we have seen that you know there are no stories no epics uh, in this uh, board or backlog so what we have to do is we have to start creating the epic first so let's click uh, click on create and we want to select the epic that's how we want to organize our user stories so let's say the very first epic is user management so this is going to be our epic and uh, if we say create okay so we can see that you know this uh, epic has been created 
now if we have to create a story as part of that epic so what we have to do is again click on the create and now we have to select the story and let's say user login is very first story okay so if we say create so now we can see the message the user story has been created now uh, we have to kind of like uh, assign a parent to this user story or assign epic to this user story so what we can do is we can add an epic here okay so this was the epic so automatically like it uh, assigns the epic to the user story so now we can see in the backlog we have one user story which is tagged with this particular epic user management if we try creating another user user story let's say we are talking about the user management and since user login is the one user story let's say for good username is another user story and if i simply click on create so it has created the forgot username user story so we can add an epic from here also we can add an epic from if i click on this one we will get this particular view on the right pane right panel okay so what we can do is if i click on add parent okay so we can select the epic from here so this is how we are at doing the uh, assigning the epic for a user story so i have shown you both the ways and now we can simply close this one so we can assign epic from here as well we can also you know edit the user story and assign the epic let's try to create another user story so we are again selecting the create and the issue type is the story one and let's say the another story is forgot password so i am clicking on create so the forgot password user story is here now again we can click on the epic and select this particular epic right so these are the three user stories that we have created so far and uh, let's say i mean all these three user stories are planned for sprint one based on the priority so what we have to do is like uh, we can simply drag them and make them as part of the sprint one okay so that we have moved one user story we have moved second now we have moved three so this way whenever the sprint one will be started that means you know team will have these items listed in as part of their sprint backlog so this particular backlog is the product backlog view and anything which is tagged as part of a sprint that uh, designates the sprint backlog and uh, how to start the sprint so on 31st july we will have to you know click on the start sprint to have this sprint started we do not want to start the sprint now because uh, jira as a tool will start tracking that you know sprint has been started from today itself okay and another thing is like uh, if we have to like all these user stories since we are using as a scrum process so they are not being estimated so there are a lot of other things like how we can assign it to a particular user how we can assign the story points so let's try to understand like how we can assign the story points so if we see this particular item here so this is the for the story point okay so let's say uh, uh, user login is going to take three story points where we are using one two three and five scale forgot username is also going to take uh, three user story points and uh, forgot password is going to take uh, maybe two user story points okay so if i click on the edit so this is for this is the edit summary but i mean if i click on this particular user story and uh, okay so here you can see that you know the story point estimates estimates are listed as three okay so i mean we use this number and uh, the same number has been displayed as part of the story point estimate other important thing is you know when we are doing the sprint planning so whatever user stories we have added in our sprint backlog and other story points which have been assigned to those uh, planned stories as part of the planning so the total sum of the story points will be shown here so you guys can clearly see that you know right now we have three user stories 
and uh, the very first story user login is of three story points another is of three story points and the forward password is of two story points so we can see the sum which is basically eight story points so this is how uh, we can you know kind of like plan for our sprint we can place some items and uh, you know uh, start with the using the jira so i will be sh sharing uh, you know further details on uh jira usage for the agile scrum teams like i said this is the very first lesson in the jira series so i hope you like uh, today's video and uh, if you are new to this channel please subscribe thank you thanks for your time